I mean, it would be nice to hear a bit more about this whole idea of that somebody takes what was yours, in a way, in an artistic meaning, and um, they make it theirs without, of course, ever wanting to lose the you in it's it. It's as if I sort of built my book out of Lego, and you didn't really add any extra blocks or anything, but you disassembled my Lego novel and then reassembled it in the shape of a film. I've discovered, oddly enough, after years of writing, a dialogue. Actually, we're pretty clumsy. The exact nature of a cup that I can have in the text but don't have to describe it must be described on film because you can't have a cup, that you can't see a cup without detail on it, even if it's a lack of detail. So for dialogue. Actually, I was just writing what I was hearing in my head and assuming that that line would be received. Mrs. Dalloway bought the flowers. Mrs. Dalloway bought the flowers. Mrs. Dalloway bought the flowers. Uh, I was just sort of assuming that what the reader was getting was what I was thinking. But no, of course not, idiot. <laughs> no, no. Actors, of course, they they do and can and literally have to. It's great watching the directors work. They, they take a number of cuts and they're all good, but actors will animate lines in different ways and sort of apply different adjectives to them. And the bewildering multiplicity of ways in which one actor can interpret exactly the same line, I don't know how they do it. Action. This is a violation of the Ruddy Incarceration Act. This is a violation of the Ruddy Incarceration Act. This is a violation. This is a violation. This is a violation. This is a violation. The Ruddy actor deserves an applause for entertaining us so well. <laughs> a director will build up a bank of perfectly usable lines, but they all, they all, they all subtly alter. What are you doing in here? But the shape-shifting, it's not a very precise word, but just the magic, the alchemy that they turn on instantly, uh, it just is breathtaking. When you watch a finished film, you don't understand the art form of acting as much because it's quite invisible in the, in the scheme of the movie. Yeah. But when you sit behind a character and you watch the range and the different variations in the subtle little things an actor can do to change the meaning of a performance so profoundly or the meaning of a line so profoundly. It's like you really get excited about acting. I, I would love to sometimes just recut our movies with slight variation in performances just as a way of demonstrating how amazing acting, what an amazing art form of acting is. What you can't do on the page is stress. You know, when a composer Right, lento or forte at the beginning. That, that, that's pretty clumsy, and it's the conductor's job to actually refine that. Well, at the moment, at the time when we first took, he, they were talking about the book and the ideas, and you know, Lana was talking about the ideas of it and about the worlds and the book. I don't remember talking to Lana when we were doing Viva Vendetta about it being a film. In fact, I don't think that was muted. Um, um, but probably there were all sorts of explosions going off in her brain. <laughs> it's been a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I will never be a part of another film like this in my life. It's so rare where you find people so passionate about what they're doing, so genius in their concepts, so brave in their attempt to take on so much. Really brilliant in, in every way. You know, in the old-fashioned sense, you'll sit there and you will be taken on a gigantic uh, roller coaster ride. You know, it's just, it's a spectacle. It is contrary to a massive amount of things that are going on in, in mainstream movie making. It's a left field adaptation of a huge tome. It's Cloud Atlas 2.0. You know, uh, David Mitchell did the first thing, and they used the architecture of cinema in order to make it so that it is far from being an episodic piece of work. 
this sort of space project size operation that any movie is uh, dedicated to making another level of reality in that little magic rectangle just glowing there in the dark. What, a, what an amazing species we can be sometimes.